Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. So Geeky Sparkles is here. We're going to do a follow-up video to the Collider video implosion. Uh, the, the video Armageddon of Collider canceling a bunch of its shows. Yeah. Uh, suddenly, and uh, I didn't have all the information yesterday. I did it yesterday morning. Uh, I had some of the story, and I wasn't exactly sure what was going on other than they pulled the plug. They were going to refocus. We talked about how individual YouTubers are making... Uh, making these uh, larger operations right. look bad. We'll talk a little bit more about that. You know, that, yeah. uh, you know, people follow people. Well, on when YouTube. you show, what do you expect to happen? I'm just right. saying. <laughs> we'll talk about that. And uh, we're going to talk about John Campia, who, as far as I can tell, he founded the video side of Collider, or at least the, the show format. Um, and uh, yesterday I talked about a video he did where he was like, I'm not going to throw shade at them. I wish him well, whatever. Well, last night, uh, after we had posted the other video, he just opened up on an individual at Collider with both barrels. Yeah, he opened up a can of whoop ass. He opened up a can of whoop ass, and we can relate to what no, he's totally saying. We totally can relate. That's why I'm here for this video. Yeah, we can relate to what he's saying to have to build something, to build a platform, and then have somebody else come in and take it and act like you didn't exist and, and be act disrespectful. like they did something they didn't do. Yeah, that was our life this summer. So yeah, so we're we gonna talk. It. We're gonna talk a little bit about that too. So before we get into the video, uh, if you like the content over here at Clownfish TV, uh, I know we don't have the fancy schmancy studio that they all have, but uh, you know we're at eighty six thousand subs, hoping for a hundred thousand soon. Yep. We really appreciate that. And yeah, the reason we're talking about this is because you know it is a big deal because Collider is one of the big commentary channels out there, but it's also been kind of on the decline. I think with the fandom. Uh, because a lot of people have accused them of being shills. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you're trying to get in with the Hollywood studios, yeah, you know, this and, is what it is. And you got a lot of mouths to feed, and that's the biggest problem I think Collider had was it got so big they had to, you know, have people in salary and healthcare and all that, and, you know, they had to play ball with these studios. But there's better ways to handle it. Far better ways to handle it than what happened. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to talk about that. Now, just first, for those of you who aren't, familiar with uh, Collider or at least the Jedi Council which I guess would pertain more to our audience because you know we have a lot of people here that, that follow Star Wars uh, if you've seen the nerd crew on Red Letter Media well they're a parody of <laughs> the Jedi yeah, Council pretty much uh, Christian Harloff, who's on the Jedi Council, was the guy who, uh, you know, had a meltdown uh, over not being invited to Galaxy's Edge because he had played the game for five or six years and he didn't get what he thought he should get mm -hmm. uh, out of it. I don't fault him for that. Do I think he should have had a meltdown publicly like that? Mm, probably not. But uh, I can understand the salt. I can too. You know? I, trust me, I get it. Probably better than most people. Yeah, so we're going to talk a little bit more about that. But if you've seen the Nerd Crew, it is an extreme parody. Well, I don't know if it's extreme, but it is a parody of the Jai Council, which had the plug pulled on it along with other Collider shows, I think January 2nd. And I was like, well, I wasn't sure if people were being laid off or not. No, they got an hour's notice. Yeah, an hour One, notice. An hour. Uh, an hour. You're done. And I went out and I found uh, Roxy Stryer, who's one of their contributors right here. She went out and started her own... Uh, YouTube channel, and she's gotten a lot of support, I guess, in the last, you know, couple days because of this, but she talks about how, basically, she should have started her own channel sooner instead of going in with the corporate uh, people, because then they can fire you. I don't disagree with her. But, um, really, what I wanted to talk about was John Campia's response. Uh, again, he uploaded another video last night after I recorded. Well, was his response into that in, in, in response to that guy's tweet? Yes. Okay, and so you might want to talk about the tweet first. We're going to talk about this. So, on the day... On the day that Collider lets people go with an hour's notice, this guy, Jack Hind, who looks like he's about 12 years old, uh, and I did bring this tweet up yesterday because I saw Campia responded to it. I'm like, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but okay. Um, well, he, he basically was mocking, like, golly, I can't understand why we fired all these people. And he said it on the day of... And their refocusing effort is basically they want to chase after, I think, the, the BuzzFeed audience. Well, here's what gets me. I wonder why Collider, Collider chose to focus the resources on industry professional, professional content yeah. and not daily movie commentary and fart jokes. Okay, here's the problem, Jack. Um, that, you know, I wonder why Collider's keeping you around when you're being so professional with your tacky little tweet there. But beyond that, it's like, here's what's happening with all these, these companies. They keep trying to chase what they think is the professional way, or they're trying to chase whatever. And then they, they get rid of the people who made the shows what they were. Mm -hmm. And then the things don't do well. 
Yeah. Because that's not who built it. And you can't just completely shift gears like that and expect people to stay. You you, you can't do it because that, their audience was there for a reason. You take the reason away, you're going to lose your audience. But how professional, when you're going about professionalism, is it of you to go onto Twitter and behave like that and give people one hour's notice? But I guess that's normal for some jobs. You had that too. Well, he's from LA and he's a hash hashtag cat dad. So, oh um, boy, yeah. So this is not a good look. Look, you know, and that's what what Campia said. And I have to agree with him. You know, regardless of what you think about John Campia, I know a lot of people uh, don't like him. They think he's a show. A lot of people do like him. Um, you know, I don't because, know him to be honest. I don't know. Him. I don't know John. I mean, I don't, I'm not really familiar. I mean, I know, I've heard the name, but I'm not. I don't really watch, so I really don't know. But I can understand in this in this situation, I completely understand where he's coming from. Yeah, I'm most of my familiarity with John Campia came from the old days. Like I said, the movie blog, because mm-hmm. when he was he was getting in trouble with Paramount over photos from the Transformers set that they invited him to. Okay. Oh, that's this guy. That's that guy. Oh, yes. That was going on the same I time. I remember. Okay. Yes. That was going on the same time I was having issues with Paramount. Because uh, they didn't invite you to the set. They didn't invite me to the set, but I called out that uh, Megatron had a vagina mouth, and uh, we got into a fight with Don Murphy, who was the producer of one the of film. the producers. Um, he, uh, yeah, he was. It was. It was so funny because all, all, all Neon did was write a, a, a well-written um, fan response to what he thought of the character design because it did look like a vagina. I'm sorry. <laughs> And um, to which Don Murphy came after him. And his reasoning for coming after Neon was because he said it was the be- the most well-written of the bunch. <laughs> so he figured he was a threat and he had to take him down. He, uh, he later apologized he, for it, but told you not to tell anybody he apologized. I will him. I will go on record as saying uh, I am 100% cool with Don Murphy at this point in time. You're the goat, blo- goat blowing idiot I was blogger the goat blowing whose mother didn't blogger. love him yeah. and whose wife, which is me, is apparently not real. Yeah. I am still here and I am still real. Thank you for, for your support. Thank That's you right. for sticking by me, even though I'm a yes, goat because I'd leave you over that. Idiot blogger. No, I was one behind you going, you tell him. You tell him. <laughs> I was like, you, oh, let me out. So, yeah, we've been we've been stirring the pot for years. but Not that, intentionally. That was completely unintentional. But that was going on simultaneous with all the other drama around the Transformers thing. Anyway, uh, John Campia put this out. And we're going to listen to his uh, very passionate... Uh, very passionate response to that uh, dick tweet because again, if you're gonna lay people off like that, you don't you don't mock them. Yeah, you don't you po- disrespect them on the you way. Want, out the especially you're talking about po- you know being professional professionalism. That was very unprofessional. Didn't he delete the tweet? Yeah, but people still call him out. For yeah, it. you sh- you should never have done it. And this it was lo- a douche move. I'm sorry. Yeah, and this little guy uh, probably was behind the because I think they put him in charge of video. He probably was behind. It's like a worm tongue type thing. You're thinking. Yes, and yeah, we'll we, talk we about brought, our we own brought that ourselves. Yeah. So here's here's what Campia said, and I 100 percent agree with him. I also take this personally. Um. Clearly, I also take this personally. I'm not gonna pretend that I don't. It's like, guess what, kid? You've got a job because of what I fucking built. Yes. Yeah. Amen. So don't you get online and start talking shit about that stuff. You should be thanking Ken Napsok. You should be thanking Christian Harloff. I love the, the subtitles there. Yeah, you know, exactly. You, you... Um. So, yeah. So not only not only does, and I'm going to put a link to the video. Go out and watch the video. Even yeah, watch you, the video. Even if you don't like John Campia, what he says is 100% true. You get these little shits that come into an established, uh, you know, organization, and we see it not just with blogs, not just with channels, uh, but comic book publishers. We see it with animation studios. People who oh, didn't... we definitely see it with comic books. I mean, oh yeah, oh we saw it with She-Ra for pity's sakes. But anyway, go ahead. People who didn't build the platform, didn't build the fandom, coming in, stirring shit up, and then gloating about well, that the was drama. completely She-Ra. They came in and immediately changed everything about it. It basically was just uh, a new show with She-Ra window dressing. And then when people, you know, brought up valid points, they were immediately, you know, called names, told they were less than as people because they didn't they didn't appreciate their genius. Because they, because they, it was their time to usurp something and you know take take it over. Yeah, and the thing is, is Campia. Now, I was actually kind of giving him credit. I was giving him like, God, I wouldn't have been as nice as he was, but uh, he was uh, yesterday or day before yesterday. I guess the the previous video, he was like, Yeah, there's some stuff going on quieter, but I'm not gonna say anything bad about them. Um, Which is a professional thing to do. Yeah, it's a business decision. I'm no longer involved with them. I, I don't, you know, I'm not gonna say anything. And then after that tweet. All hell broke loose. Yeah, I don't blame him. He's like, he's like, I have never said anything negative about Collider in the two and a half years since I left. Um, but he's like, fuck this guy. Well, see, this is what gets me, and I ran into it with comics all the time, and I run into it several places. We've done it at the last place we, we, we that we built. Um, is that there's this idea 
that if you're a professional, that means you're supposed to take whatever crap you're handed and take it with a smile and never say anything bad about the people you work for because you're not allowed to, that's not professional. Meanwhile, they can behave in any shitty, low life, unprofessional manner and they're allowed to get away with it because it's not professional of you to complain. Meanwhile, they're being the ones that are unprofessional. And I think that's where he's got tired of. Yeah, he's like, I've been biting my tongue trying to be the bigger person. And I gotta tell you the truth, this has been my own my own personal experience. And, and you know, as I get older, I see it more and more. When you're younger, you're trained to turn the other cheek because, you know, it's like, well, just hold your head up high. You don't want people to, to give you a reputation for being difficult or whatever. It's like, no, 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 no. They want you to turn the other cheek so they can slap the other side the other side too and a lot of times it's basically this is their way of, of getting you to shut the hell up right they're going to use the professional they're using you're not being professional as they're being very unprofessional and getting away with it and you know we understand because we ran into this with the i'm gonna say it, the kingdom insider we built the whole damn thing yeah we'll talk a little bit about that because I, I actually agree with campia here um but i want to point out um part of part of the decision behind this and this just goes to show you how much personalities attached with channels and blogs it matters john campia himself working out of his spare bedroom in his house like we do uh, yeah spare bedroom uh five and a half million video views in a month collider all of collider all of collider six million video views and that's with their professional studios and and little ass hats but the uh, videos like are guy. going away yeah, well, they're they're gonna do more clickbait. That's basically what oh, they're, they're gonna do. they're gonna try to be Buzzfeed. They're gonna try to be Buzzfeed. But Buzzfeed, even Buzzfeed isn't Buzzfeed anymore, and it's kind of over uh, past. People aren't really into that anymore. No, and that's that's what Campy also says in the video where he's like, you know, you guys might get a year or two out of it, and then it's gonna change. And since you're a big organization, you know, there's gonna be some kid doing this stuff in their basement that's gonna kick your ass. Oh, and, easy. Yeah, and so that's why you know it's very important with with these kinds of uh you know youtube channels and blogs and stuff that people follow personalities that they like right it's not you know? about yeah it's not about the platform it's the personality on the platform right and uh, people are following john campion i think they're gonna follow uh probably roxy stryer if they like her she's got her own channel she blew up they'll probably be okay but not everybody can do that some people most people can't build something from the ground up right uh that what they have to do is attach themselves like freaking parasites yeah, well, you know, you repurpose things like we saw with Shira, or we see with comic books, or we see with blogs, etc. That's what they have to do because they themselves are not capable of building anything. Then they get to be put in charge. They dance on everybody else that they just pissed on. Yeah, and that's that's exactly what he's saying. And we're gonna say the same thing. This this happened to us. Similar, similar, but in a way, actually, kind of worse this summer. Now we've danced around the issue. We haven't really gone gone all in talking about it too much because we tried to be professional yeah but as of late there's been some behavior that yeah. has been unprofessional so f them yeah it's been about uh seven or eight months so we started a, a disney fan blog called the kingdom insider with a partner with a partner because the partner actually had the name the partner well yeah it wasn't being used i actually told them to I use know. the name because they already had the name they're gonna pick a new name and neon said no 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 as a, a web person you want to keep using that name yeah because it's an older domain and that actually does but, help i was just like i don't feel like spending months and weeks trying to figure out a new name but what, what's what are the listed urls you own okay we'll take that one right because that just made sense because they already had a history and then from that we literally built everything it ended everything. up it ended up blasting past the established blogs that were around for a decade within two years and it was com almost completely done by neon and i almost completely we had a little bit of help from a couple occasional contributors our one friend um john helped and then um you know the, the the partner like as most partnerships are if one person is doing the lion's share of the work the partner the person with the money gives you a stipend mm -hmm. um you know and a small one that's you're definitely underpaid for what you do because the the, uh, the idea is that eventually you're going to get paid off in the back end because it gets sold or whatever and you, yeah. you're a partner yep we agreed to that um i never had a contract uh you did mm -hmm. and i worked unpaid uh thousands of hours of unpaid oh, because yeah. uh, was... I was, it was, we were a package deal because if we give up our other things to do this, I went with it. And as a result, after building this up, um, fighting tooth and nail to get uh, access to things and all that, we finally got it. Mm -hmm. And um, within like a couple a few months of finally getting it, and then now there was a cookie to be had, uh, the partner decided they were going to hire their own people. Yeah, the partner didn't want. Now this is this is where it gets tricky because the partner didn't want anything to do really with the Kingdom Insider until uh, disappear for months at a time. Yeah, but when Disney took a bigger interest in what we were doing, then all of a sudden the partner wanted to start bringing their own people in. Mm -hmm. uh, 
and I was against some of their choices. I was they like, were frankly really bad choices. They were terrible choices. The partner did not understand how the internet worked, did not understand what we actually needed. I'm like, we do need people, but we need the right people. People know what they're doing. Right. That's we, how you get Muppets on, on channels now. So a couple of the people they hired, the one person didn't work out. It was an Insta mom, and she, I don't think, but is right there from anymore. the get go. When you talked to that person, they I, were one time on like the phone. dismissive to you, act yeah. like they knew more than you did. Well, like this little shit here, you know, with his, yes. his bullshit. You know, I just, you know, I, I, I'm here now. I know more than you. Yeah, and I'm like, no, I'm not working with her. I refuse. I refuse. Uh, that's not my hire. Just give me a budget to work with, and I'll go hire the right people. Didn't happen. We had to go hire. Oh, we got promised help. We never got. Yeah, it. we never. So then they brought another person in, uh, in like April. Well, we at this point the partner was already talking to a, a bigger, uh, Disney news outlet. Which yeah, that we found out about that they basically basically what was going on was they were going to sell it to the bigger outlet, but and, and then sell us with it without telling us, even though we're partners. That seemed to be the plan. Yes, and I I said look, I'd rather we buy. Oh, we you know it was by the this because yeah. she was an idiot and sent us uh, the, captions yeah, of conversations yeah. in private that said so. Yeah, and I'm like, that's not going to work. I said, we'll actually buy you out. We actually made an offer mm -hmm. uh, to buy the partner out, and she refused to sell. But anyway, anyway. And we're all over the place. But I worked on paid. My only thing I asked for was my name on the articles and, and media access. Uh, to which, um, uh, long and short of it, I was offered media access from Universal. I was supposed to go. Uh, when the partner found out I was supposed to go, they didn't want me there because they, had, they wanted their people there. So they took it away from me. And which I said... Fuck this. Sorry, mom. I'm going to go do my own thing and I'm going to get my own media. I'm going to go back to doing what we did before, get my own media access. I don't need you because I frankly don't need them. So I did that. Um, I was never under contract. I was a free agent, do whatever the hell I wanted. Yeah, she was worked. She never signed paperwork. Uh, yeah. Geeky never signed any papers or anything. No, I didn't have anything that would be an incompetent interest whatsoever. Nope. And, and, and Neon State because he was going to stay with it. Uh, you know, see what was going on. And then. Uh, some worm tongue, which we're pretty sure we know, you know, what kind of person that was and who it was. Um, apparently went to the partner and said a lot of stuff that wasn't true. Yeah. And to which the partner then turned around and fired Neon, which technically legally, as it turns out, according to all the lawyers we talked to, is not legal. Yeah, it wasn't because we have plenty, plenty of support. Now, I was trying to get the partner to formalize things a little more. In, it doesn't matter. The lawyers so he has plenty yeah, of evidence to prove the, it. The lawyers we talked to, the entertainment lawyers, they were like, no, there's a, there's a paper trail in writing that the partner always referred to you guys as partners, mm -hmm. that there is a, a handshake agreement in place and that they have to honor that agreement. So anyway, the, the Neon's kicked off the, the, off the site. Whatever. I, I, we're like, we're gonna, that's when we started boosting YouTube. I'm sure you noticed the, the, the shift in, in over the summer, we, yeah. what we did. We were well, fine. We, we were gonna yeah. walk away. Just like, you know, yes. the, that guy was going to walk away. Yeah, just like Campia was gonna Campia walk away. Campia was gonna walk yep. away. We weren't gonna say anything, we weren't gonna be unprofessional. We were just like, you know what? It honestly wasn't worth our effort to fight because they're already tanking the site. But before even Neon left, this person came in and started posting pictures of her husband. I don't know, we're saying he was the father of the insider. And it's like, he just showed up yesterday. No, we didn't say anything. We, we didn't say anything. Yeah, we thought we'd take the high road. Now, people have asked. They asked us to out, you know, who, what the outlet was and what went down. We're like, it's not worth it. Because our lawyer even was like, it's, it's, you know, even if you sued them for ownership, like the site has been run into the ground so far. You're yeah, not it's not worth it. We're yeah. not going to make our money back. No. Um, and we're already far past them on the new, uh, the the new and improved Pirates and Princesses dot, uh, net we're we're further ahead of them anyway which i mean the funny thing about all all that is the kingdom insider was actually built on the back of pirates and right Princesses. we leveraged our audience onto the kingdom insider so everything that we had already built which was significant yeah. went into that one because we were partners who in their right mind would do that if you didn't think you were a partner yeah we had nobody a, yeah we had a podcast that had thousands and thousands we of, were new was, and noteworthy we were on new and noteworthy iTunes and, 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 and so we took all those people and we funneled our audience our, in, our studio everything 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 that was already ours we came and, into it yeah so that so anyway, what what broke what what did it for us was two things. One, because uh, because if you've watched our videos, you know how we're more honest and fair about uh, a certain mouse, and they didn't want to be associated with that because uh, they sell trips. So um, they uh, took our names off of all our articles. Yeah. And for me, that was the only payment I got was my name on an article, and they took my name off. And we found out about it because in their stupidity, they didn't realize I'd get, a, I'd get an email about it. Yeah. And I found out immediately, um, jokes on them though, because um, Neon knew they would pull something like this or he figured they would. So he archived everything. Oh, I've got archives upon archives. I got backups upon backups. No, what happened? Yeah. So I, again, there, there usually is a tipping point. People who 
turn the other cheek and they play nice for a long, long time. Like John Campia played nice for two and a half years. And the tipping point was having this little ass hat run mm -hmm. at the mouth on Twitter. The well, we had, we, had we had our little ass hat run in the mouth on, on Facebook. Blog, and yeah, blah, Facebook, blah. blog posts. She admitted in an email that she doesn't know we, we have we, there are a conversation that she doesn't know that, that the, the partner gave to us, that she was stalking us. And um, <laughs> like, she uh, she got media access, didn't happen. Uh, Neon had it for months. She got years, because, you, years. You know, it was like a year and a half. Oh, yeah. Was it that long? It was. Yeah, a, I know it was what we worked hard for. I was at Toy Story when it first opened. Oh, that's right, yeah. you were. So yeah, it was a long time. And she spun these, and anybody who's followed would know she's full of garbage. Then she was spinning a story that because of her hard work, where she literally didn't do much of anything, yeah. um, she got access to Galaxy's Edge for the media event that was already planned since the beginning of the year and Neil was supposed to go. Like all these things she's taking credit for, she never did any of them. Uh, we did. And it, it, that was what, that's what we're speaking at now. Cause we're like, you know what? We would have been okay if you just stopped. And been like, you know, and, and like he goes on talking about how you should be thanking these yeah, people. Yeah, let's listen to this part. This part is epic. Christian Harlock, you should be thanking all those people, Perry Nemiroff, and everybody. you should be thanking all these people. Thank you so much. You should take your hat in your hand, get on your fucking knees, and you should say thank you so much for building this place to what it is. Thank you so much for building this place so I can even have a job here. Exactly. So uh, instead of just, you know, you know, same as uh, what happened to us, instead of just letting it go and like moving on say, okay, yeah, we're going to take it in a new direction because I'm here and then let it go. No, no, no. To, because I think it's an imposter syndrome. I think that's what happened yeah. to this guy on Twitter. I think that's what happened with yeah. our case. It's yeah. imposter syndrome. I know I didn't do jack shit. I know I didn't build this up. I know I just got to sit on the throne of lies. I'm saying on a throne of lies. I just got to sit on this throne because, you know, somebody else got forced out unfairly. And instead of just, you know, moving on, I have to make sure that I, so that I feel bad inside because I know I'm, I'm, I'm fake and I'm uh, full of crap. I got to throw shade and I got to take credit for things and, ch and, and recreate the narrative to, so I don't feel like an imposter. And I think at the heart of it, that's what came down to the guy's tweet. I think that's what came down to our yeah. case. It's imposter syndrome. They know they didn't do jack shit. Yeah, well, this is Jack. Now it's going to be, you know, you didn't, you didn't do, do Jack, Jack Hyde. Hyde. Uh, but yeah, he was he was talking about how Jack Hyde was not there when he was there. They brought this little shit in and now he's he's like firing everybody. And yeah, he only has his job because somebody else built it. And, he, and, and yeah, you don't even respect that. No, you can't respect that. And again, you know, they gave me when, you know, I got my ass pushed out the door for no reason whatsoever. Uh, gave me the option of, of doing a little goodbye speech or whatever. And I'm like, I'm not going to do it. Well, they, it, was, it was only if you went to, the, to their narrative of right. what happened, which was, you know, they're not going to say, hey, we fired you and stole the site. It's going to be, you're <laughs> moving on because of whatever reason. And it's like, and, and, and you, this is your successor that you chose. Because yes, she's been, she's been it out there too, that, that, that the insider hired her. No, we didn't. I didn't hire her. Um, actually, I, what we were told was that they, that she came to the partner. So somebody's lying somewhere. Yeah, somebody, like the partner, but. somebody's lying somewhere. So basically what, what I, I think happened uh, and we've talked at length about this. Again, we don't you know, broadcast it in public People all the time. People have been asking, so here They've you go. They've been asking. Um, but what I think happened was as soon as Disney took notice, as soon as other websites were interested in absorbing the Kingdom Insider and they were making cash money offers and et cetera, et cetera, uh, then the partner decided to push us out of the way. But the kicker was, and, and, and as the case with a lot of these shows, you cannot separate the heart of what makes it go from it or it's going to die. Yeah. And and that is exactly what happened. Um, we were separated from it and it has been tanking. There have been a lot of questionable uh, red on social blade numbers, if you know what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> Buying it to make it look like they're still yeah, doing well. Yeah, um, yeah. They're, th th you know, because they're not very smart. You, they don't understand you can go see what the traffic actually is. And when you're getting under 200 page views a day, up down from thousands a day, that's not an improvement. <laughs> um, so but the thing is that they don't understand is you can separate the people from the show but you can't, you can't, the audience is, is with for the, those people. It's not going to stay just because, you know, you get rid of the people, they're not going to stay. Yeah, you delete a Jack Hine, but you can't run up an industry professional longer than you've been alive. Jobs come and go, companies too. You'll soon find out our integrity remains. People lost money in medical. You danced on their graves. Yeah. Take your medicine, son. That, that's what I was going to say. I, I'm just like, you know, okay, people will get on us for how unprofessional we are for calling out our partner and the, which we're not naming the partner, but we're no. calling out the, 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 the blog we built. Cause that's unprofessional, you shouldn't do that. But how is that less professional than what happened to us? They're like, oh, it's unprofessional of, of John to call this out. But how is it any less professional for him to call it out than what was done to these other people and the way that, that Jack behaved?
He bit his tongue for two and a half years and it didn't do any good. Um, he bit himself in his own hind. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Roxy uh, Stryer, who was also in Collider, you know, I tried to listen to one of her videos. She's doing live streams. Um, it's kind of hard to listen to because, you know, like when we do live streams, like people are interrupting. We have super right, chats and stuff. Right, it's hard. So I tried to follow, but basically she was trying to still give them the benefit of a doubt. I'm like, no. Because she's probably worried about, she's younger. She's yeah. probably worrying about looking a professional and trying to find jobs later on. Because they, they, they lie to you. We can treat you like garbage. And these higher ups do it because they, they're, they're like, they, they, they tell you the lie that if you behave badly, you won't get a job someplace else. And you know, they probably work together to make that happen. But they're the, they themselves, their behavior is far worse. And it's a load of crap. Yeah, I, I just, I, it just blows my mind. Yeah, in our case, like they just, they took our damn names off the blog that we built from nothing, from nothing. Well, but, she should, she should just understand that she should build her own thing, and then they can't take it from her. Well, that's what she said, and that's what I, I actually uh, good on her for that. She's, mm -hmm. she's basically like. Um, you know, she's trying to give them the benefit of the doubt, like, well, maybe they weren't throwing shade at me. It's like, no, they were throwing shade at you. This little shit was throwing shade at you, and you're absolutely right in going and building your own thing. Right. If you can. Not everybody's so lucky, and that's what I want to point out. The reason that these, these media outlets, and I, I did talk about this yesterday, the reason they freak out is when you've got individuals getting, look, Campia, 5 million views, uh, Collider, 6 million, Nerdist. He gets more traffic than Nerdist. You know, himself, we get, not, again, not to brag, not to brag, but we had almost 4 million views and we're a tiny YouTube mm -hmm. channel. We work out of the corner of our house. Mm -hmm. You know, we're a tiny YouTube channel under a hundred thousand subs, work out of the corner of our house. And we got like just a couple million short of freaking Nerdist. Right. But you by know? the way, we, we want to hit a hundred thousand or more. So please yeah, subscribe, please, well, please, please subscribe. I want that button so much. But you know, you get to a point where you can only bite your tongue for so long. And frankly, you know, and then there's always like threats of lawsuits and bullshit like that. If it's provable, it's not slander. It's no. not libel. If you can prove it. If you've you got a paper trail and you got emails and correspondence to prove all of it. But uh, so yeah, he's he's opening up a can. I think he's he's absolutely right in doing it. But look at this little shit try to, to weasel out of it. I deleted it for the sake of the company. I didn't want to dance on the grave. People that's what you did. Happily talk about everything that's going on. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to talk about what's coming in the future. The bigger and brighter future. Uh, oh, that sounds just like the person that replaced us. She's like, oh, next year in 2020 is going to be amazing. The new heights. And I'm like, well, it's not hard to raise it to new heights when you've already taken it to the bottom i'm like what and you don't even you can't even do that well so i'm like you know what go knock yourself out meanwhile we're just cruising along with uh, clownfish tv and piratesandprincesses.net which i recommend you visit there and not you know other places um because you know i'm biased and it's straight, mine straight dope um yeah we try we, we do there what we do here except it's a little more disney positive because um i really do like disney even though people get mad that uh, i do a little bit now Again, he, he hates it more than I do. I don't hate Disney. Everybody thinks I hate Disney. I don't hate Disney. I'll tell you, though, you know, when people talk about the Jedi Council and you see the, the nerd crew on Red Letter Media with their, their social media reaction, like, oh, we got to keep smiling. Gotta That's keep true. I, I do believe, and I do not believe it's the company as a whole, but I know some people at the mouse that could have been whispering in the partner's ear because a partner benefited from uh, Disney liking them mm -hmm. could have whispered in the partner's ear and told them that they needed somebody more positive even though at the time we actually were we were we were we used to be more fair and honest on that site and we were told we weren't allowed to be anymore we were told we had to be basically shills as soon as we got media, like yeah as soon yeah. as we got media access it was like everything's media, great yeah you, you yeah. And, and 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 i don't know if that's the partner's fault as much though because they basically told us well to keep this we have to do this. So that's that's the mouse, um, which we've mentioned many times. People might not be allowed to be honest because if you would like to keep going to uh, media events and attending screenings, you have to put the spin on it that they, they like. Um, we saw that what happened with the, was it the LA Times got booted because they didn't give them the right spin. The and then they LA back freaking in. Times, they, they banned them. And that, that was, I think that's what set Christian Harloff off was he played, he's like, I played this effing game for five years. Yeah, exactly. And you wouldn't even let me in the damn theme park. And I don't even want to go to your stupid theme right, park. He now. was the one who should have probably gone. I mean, we're going to be fair and honest. It yeah. probably should have been him. But I think what was going on was Disney had this, and that we saw it with their marketing. Yep. They were pushing for women and yep. for mine moms and ladies to show up. Their trailer, they had the dad with his daughter and everything else. They were, they, they had this, they, they had been having this uh, female, the force is female, female push um, in their marketing. Uh, 
materials and things. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure it was probably highly suggested to the outlet that you need to send a female. Uh, the outlet ultimately decided who they sent because it usually comes to the outlet. Um, and that's what happened. In my case, I busted my ass for two years to get a turn to go to one of the media events, played nice, did what I was supposed to do, even if I thought opposite of what they were telling me to say. And I wasn't even allowed to go once because they took it away and instead gave it to hair flippers. I mean, again, this the, Disney might have actually been, and I'm not saying they are, it could just be some people over there because Disney is a many headed beast and there are a lot of cool people and there are a lot of people that are questionable. There are really cool people who understand, but they are old guard Older. and yeah. they're not the ones who get to make the decisions necessarily. And if they want to keep their jobs up play, they play by the rules that are the people that are in charge currently. But yeah, there's definitely a game uh, being played. But yeah, again, this, this little shit who comes in and this is what happens. Well, you with probably the, shouldn't call him a little shit. I, I think he's a shit. We try not to call people names. I think Except he's a for shit. hair flipper because she deserves it. Well, I haven't even called her that, but this guy, he did come in. He but, but I've seen so many people like this. You know, the outlet gets built up to a certain, or the company or whatever gets built, built up to a certain level. And then you have these new people come in um, who think that they're owed a job because they got a degree and whatever. And they come in and, uh, you know, these journalists, you see, they, they come into the news outlets that have been long established. And I get fifty to $100,000 a year to write about you know, avocado toast because I've got it because I've got a degree from whatever FU university and blah, 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 Twitter, Twitter. So, um, you know, he's like, well, the videos didn't perform. Sorry, the daily shows and the weekly shows you were all on did not perform well enough to even stick around. It sucks. It really does. But the YouTube community didn't support you in the channel once uh, now, once it's gone. I have no problem with this and got rid of it because it did a read wrong. Oh, the tweet. And I'm, I'm sorry for what happened to everybody. It didn't seem like they, it. But how, what does it mean? I suppose, what, what did you, what else could you mean? Basically, I got rid of these people because they make fart jokes and here's why y'all got fired. That's what you said. Yeah, apologies if I misrepresented the people who, who the tweet affected, but the shit back from the fans after Collider kept the shows live for two more years after Complex is just ridiculous. No one said thanks for keeping them. What, so the people didn't go personally thank him for keeping them? He got rid of them? Oh, what a shit. Yeah. You know, and again, look, you can have your thoughts about John Campia. I, I don't know John Campia. I know some people have had issues with I understand with what he's saying here. I understand 100 been there. Yeah, I understand 100% what he's saying. When you build something and you see somebody else come in and shit all over it and then disrespect the people who gave them their jobs. Mm -hmm. And that's what set us off. That's why we're saying something now, because if she just kept her mouth shut and been at least thankful, yeah, somewhat that's thankful, what the whole thing is. grateful, that's what the whole thing is. respectful, we would never have said a word if the partner and this person had at least been respectful and like they let our names say on the articles because uh, we still did those work. Our kids' pictures are on their site attached to articles. Frankly, I'd probably tell them to take them off because there are kids' pictures. They were only on there when we worked there. So if you're listening, take my kids' pictures off our articles. Thank you. Uh, being polite doesn't always work. All that, all that they do is they bank on you keeping your damn mouth shut. Because when they act unprofessionally, they'll demand you you give them professionalism. Yeah. And, what's and gonna, make threats to you. Yeah. And what's going to happen, like Campia, he's already almost up to what Collider is on his own. And I suspect that this, uh, this other girl, this Roxy Stryer, she's she's picking up momentum. Uh, if she builds her own channel, she'll be fine. You don't need these, these outlets. No. So the point is, if you do decide to do your own thing and you do decide to work with somebody else, one, Always make sure you have things in writing. You're better, too, you're better to own it yourself so people can't push you out like happened here at Collider. And three, keep backups and copies of everything. Four, you know what? If someone behaves unprofessionally to you, the whole idea that you're not supposed to say anything because that makes you unprofessional is a load of crap. Yeah, um, as long as you're not doing anything illegal. As long as, long as you can prove what you're saying so you're not lying. Yeah. You're yeah. good to go. You're good to go. So we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, just very interesting. I thought, you know, it, it, this needs to be said more often. And maybe Campia will learn that, uh, you know, playing ball sometimes doesn't get you jack shit. Mm -hmm. And keeping your mouth shut just, uh, you know, uh, opens up the floodgates for more bullshit to happen. Uh, sometimes you have to be, you have and to And he vocalize. should speak out. He should. He really should. He tried to be professional. He was professional. They behaved unprofessionally. And then he said, that's it. Yeah. And, and that's that's kind of the same in our case. So uh, I'll give you guys links to all this stuff. You can check it out for yourself. We'll wrap this up. Sorry it was long. Yeah, and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.